daily vlog and not get fired so yesterday I learned a bunch regardless of how good or bad yesterday's episode was but I learned a bunch even though I was feeling down and I wasn't creative or I didn't have the mojo I went out and I forced myself to go do it it's something I have a hard time doing, and I think yesterday was a huge step towards that. Now, today I'm going to daily vlog again, so episode 5, it's a lot. I've made more videos this week than I have made in years, but today is all on the iPhone. See, I'm trying to figure out how to do this daily while not getting fired. This is going to be a, uh, it's going to be a challenge but I make my own schedule, I make my own hours, and I'm my own boss. There's no way this could go wrong. It's gonna go wrong. But that's the whole point of this series, is to grow and learn with me as I do this. So the show's really not about me. It's about seeing the process of filmmaking and daily vlogging and learning YouTube and getting better and evolving as I go. So you, the viewer, who does watch this, can learn from the stuff I'm doing and the mistakes I'm making and hopefully not make them yourself. Rule one of vlogging and not getting fired. Make sure you have gas. I might run out. And you can't get anything done. Rule three of vlogging while at work and not getting fired. Snacks. Oh. And proper hydration from polar sparkling water. It's not an ad. I just really like it. There you go. How to daily vlog and not get fired. Tip four, always wear your seatbelt and wear a nice shirt. Believe it or not, I did learn something from my vlog yesterday. Um, and whether I'm feeling bummed out or down or anything like that, I know as long as I go out and shoot and record, I'm gonna feel better. Because throughout the entire process of yesterday's vlog when I was at the, the pond, um, I was really bummed. Like it wasn't, oh, it's not coming out right or anything like that. Um, when I got home and I edited it and I watched it and I put the music under it and I did a little bit and cut a lot of it out, I'm like, oh, this really came out okay. So you gotta remember, in the moment, if just because it seems eh, it could be something like super powerful. Now, personally for me, it was a powerful vlog. Not everybody needs to see that, or is gonna get that, or get moved by the way it did. But I just seeing myself on camera go through that struggle of trying to be like forcing myself to be creative by the end of this by the end of the edit I was in a better mood and I felt better about the whole process so just get out and create regardless of how good or bad it may not be so yeah do that get food
I am. Yeah. yeah. I forgot the big camera today, so I got to use the iPhone. I'm sorry? I forgot my big camera today, so I got to use my iPhone. They, they can't see you. Thank you. Just got asked if I was vlogging. Looks pretty awesome. I should remember to plug my channel next time I do that. Anyway, I'm going to go eat. Bye. If you haven't figured it out by now, this whole thing is silly. Have yourselves a good night. I just wanted to be goofy. It's a big ass raccoon. So I want to show you this sunflower that is in my parents' backyard. It's huge. It's stupid huge. So I'm going to show it to you guys.